How bad is the homelessness problem in Austin and is local government helping to fix it? We get those questions a lot from viewers and a new report is giving us some answers. Now here's some of what it shows. More people exited homelessness in 2023 than the year prior by about 50%. That's roughly 3,000 people. But the report also showed an increase in the number of people needing help. More than 8,000 people sought homeless services for the first time in 2023. That's up 72% from the year before. And the report found black Austinites are six times more likely to experience homelessness than white Austinites. So what would it take to fix the problem? Well, the Ending Community Homelessness Coalition, or ECHO, estimates the following would need to be added over the next decade. They would say they would need 5,000 new permanent supportive housing units, including wraparound services like mental health and substance use treatment. Also needed 600 new emergency shelter beds and 1,700 new rapid rehousing slots. That's basically rental assistance. You know, I just think big picture, when you think of a homeless response system, it's almost like a healthcare system, right? You think about kind of hospitals and how you have preventative care, emergency rooms, and then inpatient care. And our homeless response system is designed much like that. So this is where KXN's Grace Reader takes over, going in depth on what this report shows about why people are experiencing homelessness in our city. Despite talking to dozens of people experiencing homelessness over the last year. Couch surfing. Giving you a roof over your head when it's raining. This is like a home away from home. With more than 6,000 people experiencing homelessness in our city on any given night, it's only a snapshot of the whole story. But a new report compiled by the Ending Community Homelessness Coalition, or ECHO, gives us a more complete picture. So this report is actually the first of its kind in our community. Um, in the past, we have typically done a series of reports that were very well known and established. And what we are doing with this report now is combining all of those pieces to provide a holistic assessment. The report found that Austin has a high rate of people experiencing chronic homelessness. That's usually long term and with a disabling condition. In our city, 60% of people who are homeless fall into that category, according to the report. Of those, nearly 45% have a documented mental health condition. Nearly 30% have chronic health issues, and just about as many people have physical health limitations. One of the elements for um, eligibility to a permanent housing project is that you are chronically homeless and that you have a disability. Um, so we collect all of those conditions. That data matters because it helps inform what kind of services will work to address the issue. Uh, this is a really great way for all of us to have a foundational level understanding of the system and what's going on so that way we can most appropriately plan our services. Grace Reader, KXAN News. And the report also showed more than 24,000 people used homelessness resources over the course of last year. That's more than in 2022 by about 60%. It also noted an increase in street outreach efforts and better intervention may have helped with that increase.